Yo, what up Street Talks, Eric Kim. So, let me share with you a video essay on fear porn. So, currently the way things are, that's probably the best way I would call it, is that like, um, we are so attracted to the news, media, social media, blah, blah, is because it's like fear porn. And then let me kind of break this down. So fear, obviously, and porn because porn is one of these funny things where you can't not look at it. Like, yo, if you're just, if, okay, I, I can't speak for women, but let's, let's say, I'll, I'll speak for us men, right? Like, let's say you're a dude. Let's say you're a dude, and then like, someone on their laptop had a full screen of like, some porn something happening, right? Like, you cannot help but not look, right? And react a certain way, like. <laughs> and then, um, I'm not gonna be PG-13 here, but if you're watching porn as a guy, let's say, let's say you're being forced to watch porn. Someone's like, yo, full screen this, they glue to you to a table, force you to stare at a screen. Can you force yourself not to get a boner? Probably not, unless you're some sort of like weird yogi who does like tantric sex or whatever. You cannot prevent yourself from getting a boner, for the most part. And let, let's say you can, you have like the superhuman strength to prevent your boner or whatever. But then let, let's say like I strapped you to the chair and I started, or not me, but uh, a fictitious entity, you know, took a feather and started to, um, to, uh, to stimulate in certain ways while you're watching porn and then let's say there's a bunch of like, and this is assuming you're like um, a heterosexual, right? You know, a bunch of ni sexy naked ladies in front of you doing sexy stuff, whatever. Can you prevent yourself from not getting aroused or getting a boner or whatever it may be? Even like um, for us men, like I think one thing you cannot control too, if you're watching porn, you actually kind of get a small dose of like semen discharge because your body's kind of getting, you know, they call it pre-cum, right? It's like your body is getting pre-calibrated to engage in the sexual act of coitus, right? So that's, that's porn in a nutshell. So my thought about the news and the media and all this fear, fear stuff is that you cannot help but feel anxious. You cannot help but be, become physiologically changed. You cannot help but have serotonin, you know, non-efferent, you know, dopamine, cortisol, and all these chemicals and hormones from secreting in your bloodstream. Because this is the thing that's really interesting about fear porn, or watching the news and stuff. It's not just the stress, ba the, the bad stress hormones which are being secreted, the pleasurable dopamine stuff is also hitting your system too. Because my thought is, it might be a little bit like schadenfreude or kind of like, you know, so for example, you ever drive on the freeway and you see someone else get pulled over by a cop and you're like, sucker! <laughs> kind of the same thing is like, who knows, maybe when you're watching the news, you know, you hear about like a thousand more people dying in like Italy or Spain or something like that. Part of it, you feel bad for the people, but part of it, you, f you secretly feel good because you're like, oh, thank God that's not me, or thank God I'm not in Italy or France or Spain, and thank God that didn't happen to my family. So there's a, actually a feeling of relaxation or release or calm that actually kind of happens um, from this whole process. And so, like, my personal thought is this. If someone puts porn in my face, or if I watch porn or whatever, right? I cannot stop my body's physiological hormonal changes and shifts and my whatever. And the same thing is with the news and social media and stuff like that, right? All that stuff is programmed by other people who are incentivized to scare the shit out of you and to be maximally sensational. Then, do I have the control and the free will to not be afraid? No. like. That's, that's, uh, that's not possible. So this is why I think about free will. I have the free will just to decide not to check social media, not to check the news, not to follow this stuff. But I do not have the free will to not feel afraid. Right, so my practical solution has just been just, you know, binary, yes or no. I just 
don't follow the news. I don't, I don't just watch a little bit of news because that's that's silly. That's almost like <laughs> this is to quote Nassim Taleb. Um, if you're halal, right, or you're, you know, kosher or whatever, you can't just eat a little bit of bacon and it's okay. No, it's a binary. It's a, you either eat pork or you don't eat pork. Similar thing. <laughs> this is Taleb's example, right? You can't just fondle the breast of a weightlifter just a little bit and kind of get away with it. No, like you, that's, that's like, it's a binary. You just don't do it, right? <clears throat> and so also with uh, kind of almost anything in life, right? Is that, you know, if you want to be, have fidelity with your wife, your husband, your partner, whatever, you can't just cheat on them a little bit. No, it's like you, it's binary, yes or no, this way or that way. And so I think with the news, I mean, just a simple suggestion, try a 48 hour news fast, right? Like just news and media, uninstall social from your phone. If you really, really are addicted, um, turn off your phone completely or uninstall all apps on your phone besides, or let's, okay, this is assuming you have an iPhone or an Android, just uninstall all the apps from your phone. Because the only essential one is phone call, the phone icon, and the text messaging icon. Everything else is superfluous. You don't really need it. Like, if your mom's in the hospital, she'll give you a phone call. She's not gonna send you a message on Twitter or whatever, right? So, kind of do that. Um, the second thing is, there's all these like content blocker apps, like Waste No Time or something like that on Chrome and Firefox, and I think Safari has it too, where you could just like literally block all the news sites. Or even a thing you could do is, there's a freedom app, freedom.to, and if you're really, really addicted to following the news, activate that for like, I don't know, like two or three hours where you literally cannot turn on the Wi-Fi even if you wanted to, right? And so these are just some practical strategies to decrease the amount of fear that you feel because once again, like, it's obviously, you know, you don't want to be stupid. You don't want to be out like licking doorknobs or nothing like that, right? But at the same time, you still want to live. You cannot just like live in fear. And I don't think it's really your fault. It's not my fault. It's nobody's fault. It's not even the fault of the media. It's just the way that the internet, modern capitalism is just the way it's structured. So, I mean, unless you have like super heavy handed government coming in, changing regulation stuff, ain't nothing going to really change too much. And so my practical suggestion and thought is this. You know, stop watching the news, stop following social, da, 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 da. Think about more like what can you personally do? Stay focused on yourself, your work, your family, your close friends, whatever. Give more people phone calls, see how they're doing and stuff like that. And just next time you put on the news or you read a news article, just kind of ask yourself, is this fear porn or not? Is there anything actionable I could do on it or not? And if so, why am I following it? <laughs>